So when I was uh, about 15, I ended up having my son. Okay. So my breast, you know, I breastfed, so they got bigger, they got saggy. And then I had my daughter at 17, and same thing happened, and then I realized, you know, I just want to lift and an areola right. reduction. So I was like, well, let yeah. me venture out to what Mexico. Is, what did the doctor say? So he was like, well, you can't just get a lift because your breasts are going to look ugly. You Why? Need, you need an implant for the fullness. Okay, what else did he say? You need a tummy tuck, too. And I was like, uh, uh, really? And also, I can do lipo. You're kidding me? How much was the charge for all of those things? Six thousand. For all Everything? of it? Yeah. Yeah, he got me good. Wow. Okay, this is a basically a WTF or what the. F moment, and I'll tell you why. To take an impressionable 20-year-old who comes in for one type of procedure and then try to add on additional procedures is unbelievably not cool. In fact, the only way to describe it is predatory. So immediately after surgery, I kind of saw like a little bubble on my belly button, and then my tummy tuck incision started doing it, and it was just like yellow and pussy and smelled like death. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's yeah. what it is. It's tissue death. Started feeling very weak. I was going to school at the time. I skipped class to go to the hospital and they admitted me. They told me, your doctor didn't clean his utensils right. So all your body is getting infected now. You're gonna need surgery today. So you were septic. We call that septic. Where the Bacteria in your blood. Bacteria in your blood, where the infection is seeded into your general cardiovascular system. Did she seem really sick? Oh uh, yes, she seemed out of it. Totally out of it. Yeah. That's sepsis. They told me they were gonna do a debridement, but I didn't know, like, what that meant? Yeah, I didn't know I was going to be getting cut hip to hip. So they opened you up and discovered it was very extensive underneath. Yeah, very. If I would have waited a day longer, I would have been dead. I basically told my family my goodbyes, and I thought it was going to be my last time seeing my husband. 